The stages of kidney disease are not the same as the stages of kidney cancer or any kind of cancer. Stay tuned, I'll tell you why. Thanks so much for watching today. Remember, everything we talk about today is for informational purposes only. This is not medical advice. I'm Dr. Blake Schusterman. I'm a board certified kidney doctor and I'm also the cooking doc. And if you like this info in my page, remember to like, subscribe, and share, and comment. What else should we talk about on my channel? Okay, so I saw eight new patients in my office over the last week, and many of them had been dreading the appointment with me for so long because they had been told they had stage three kidney disease or chronic kidney disease, CKD. And this is understandably so. When most people think of the stages of disease, our minds wander to the four stages of cancer. And stage three cancer usually means a very serious illness. It means the cancer has spread to the nearby tissues requiring surgery or chemotherapy or radiation, depending on the type of the cancer, the location of the cancer, and the size of the cancer. It's no wonder that people are so scared to come in and see me. I wish we could reinvent the stages of CKD, chronic kidney disease, so they aren't so confusing and scary, but it seems like we're stuck with them here for a while. So I'm gonna explain kind of what they are and how it's different from cancer. Luckily, the stages of kidney disease are completely different than the stages of cancer. Now I'm currently working on separate videos for each stage of kidney disease, so you can understand each one in depth, but I heard this question so many times over the last week that I really wanted to get this video out and kind of take the burden off some people who are worrying so much that I wanted to really get into the specifics of why CKD is not cancer. And later, we'll talk in depth about the stages of chronic kidney disease. Okay, now let's get to some of the differences and the similarities between the stages of kidney disease and the stages of cancer. And I'm gonna start from the beginning, stage one. Stage one is less concerning in both cases, CKD and cancer. Stage one cancer usually means the cancer is small and localized. A cancer doctor can determine the treatment and is often easily curable. Something like surgery takes care of the cancer a lot of times if it's stage one. Stage one kidney disease is often kind of the least worrisome stage. It means that the kidneys do have something wrong with them, but that something is not impacting how well they filter the waste products out of your body. In stage one kidney disease, the kidneys are filtering at a rate greater than 90 milliliters per minute, something called the EGFR, which is normal for a lot of people. I did a whole nother video about it. But maybe the kidneys are not quite normal because they're leaking a little bit of protein in the urine. Or maybe part of one kidney has been removed due to a previous surgery. Or maybe one kidney has gotten really small for a variety of reasons. These can all mean stage one kidney disease. As a kidney doctor, I'd treat stage one kidney disease with protein in the urine much differently than I would treat stage one kidney disease from somebody who's had an injury to one kidney in the past. So it doesn't really tell me much about what's going on other than the filtration rate. I'm more interested in something that tells me what I need to do to treat things and how things will change in the future. Okay, next let's move on to stage two. From a filtration perspective, it means the kidneys are filtering at a rate of about 60 to 90 milliliters per minute which for many people is a normal filtration rate, especially as you get older. But in stage two kidney disease, just like in stage one, it's accompanied by some other form of kidney damage. So again, protein in the urine or a structural abnormality as we call it in the kidneys. That's stage two. Stage two cancer on the other hand, that often means that the cancer is growing, but it hasn't spread very far from the location of the original tumor. In most cases, stage two cancer requires a much more intensive treatment and concern than stage two CKD. Next, stage three. This is where people usually get really worried and I understand it. Stage three chronic kidney disease is usually the first time that you or someone you love has known that they have abnormal kidney function and that often triggers a referral to a kidney doctor. Stage three kidney disease means that the kidneys are filtering somewhere between 30 and 59 milliliters per minute. And then it's even broken down further into stage three A, which is 45 to 59, and stage three B, which is 30 to 44. For many people, stage three A, CKD, may just be a function of getting older. And the risk of those kidneys getting worse over time may be very low, and there actually may not be any additional treatment other than continuing to take good general care of yourself by watching your blood pressure, exercising, eating right, managing your weight, all the other things that I talk about over and over again on this channel. So you can see why stage three kidney disease does not need to always trigger 
that kind of worrisome feeling that people have when they come to be referred to me. On the other hand, a younger person with stage 3A CKD, someone who's not kind of had long-term damage of their kidneys just from aging, may need a much more aggressive evaluation and workup than somebody who is older with stage 3 kidney disease. Stage 3 cancer, on the other hand, usually much more serious. It means the cancer has spread to the nearby tissues, and that often requires things like surgery or chemotherapy or radiation, depending on the type and the location of the cancer. So stage 3 means very different things in terms of severity of disease, need for treatment or surgery, and prognosis for the future. I wish we could change the staging for chronic kidney disease, but because we're stuck with this, I want you to know that stage 3 cancer, stage 3 kidney disease, not the same thing. Now stage 4 kidney disease is certainly more serious than the other stages, as is stage 4 cancer. It means the kidney function is down to between an EGFR of filtration rate between 15 and 29, and that can mean much more serious treatments or discussions with physicians regarding things like dialysis, possibly in the future, or kidney transplant. Stage 4 cancer, also much more serious, means that cancer has spread to other distant parts of the body. Lastly, as we keep talking about the differences, let's talk about stage 5. Now, stage 5 typically only exists in kidney disease, not in cancer, and it is the most serious form. It means somebody is nearing what's called end-stage kidney disease, and they're nearing the need for either a kidney transplant or dialysis. There's one other big difference in the stages between CKD and cancer. Chronic kidney disease must be going on for three or more months for you actually to get a diagnosis. So if you have a blood test or one abnormal kidney reading, it doesn't give you a diagnosis of chronic kidney disease. You need three months of it. But if you have cancer, you certainly don't want to wait three months before you have a definitive diagnosis before you start your treatment and therapy plan. Okay, those are all the differences. Now, there are a couple similarities for sure. Each cancer and chronic kidney disease stages can be broken down further to give more specific understanding to the doctors and the patients of what's actually going on. The CKD stages are broken down into levels of protein in the urine, so that the more protein a person leaks into their urine, the more risk there is for kidney damage in the future. So stage 3A chronic kidney disease with a lot of protein in the urine is much more serious than stage 3A kidney disease without any protein. The cancer staging is often also broken down further into something called the TMN tumor staging system. And that gives doctors more information to know about the cancer just by understanding that more specific stage. The stages in both cases also provide insight about what treatments are needed, whether someone needs to be referred to a specialist, and what the prognosis is for the future. It's also important to know that as the stages get higher, the numbers get higher, it's certainly more serious. The most important thing, though, in conclusion, is that you need a doctor to help interpret the meaning of a stage of kidney disease and that stage 3 chronic kidney disease is not the same thing as stage 3 cancer. And while it certainly deserves attention and treatment, it shouldn't be confused with the diagnosis of stage 3 spreading cancer. Thanks so much for watching today. I'm Dr. Blake Schusterman. I'm a board-certified kidney doctor, and I'm also the cooking doc. I hope you learned something. Make sure you check out my website, cookingdoc.com, as well as my book, The Cooking Docs, Kidney Healthy Cooking, a Modern 10-Step Guide to Preventing and Managing Kidney Disease, and I will see you next time.